Okay, my, my man Alejandro right now is uh, planting in this little square that you guys can see. Um, I'm not so sure how the light is, but you can see the delineation on the far side there. This is what I'm calling my huerta, which is Spanish for orchard. And, Al and Alejandro right now is planting a mandarin tree. And then right there you can see a, uh, a ruby red grapefruit tree. And then an unknown tree right on the, on the orchard border at the far side that someone planted way before I got here. We can continue down the circle. I'll bear to my right here. This is my compost bin, which you can see is uh, getting uh, all the household organic material. And then it backs up to my my mulch pile, which is my leaf pile that I gather throughout the season and uh, put everything there. And I'm able to lift that door up and put the organic material and connect it with the, with the leafy material. And I'm creating my own organic dirt, which is pretty damn useful, believe me. So anyway, this whole circle idea I have planted right here, which you cannot see yet. Meyer lemon trees, as I said, there is a ruby red grapefruit. These circles close to me are a little too close to the iguanas, so I can't really plant these for here. So we'll go down a little further. I'll get my glasses. Oh, you heard that that uh, that uh, mango fall almost on my head. <laughs> so I'm holding this in my hand, and I'm not sure how much you can see, but anyway. The concept here is these circles, which I can actually, you know, tend to myself. This circle has a this circle has a uh, cashew tree planted in the very center, and Alejandro is now planting in the same line another cashew more fully developed. And then, as I said, there we've got the ruby red grapefruit. So we're working the circle concept. This circle, which I'm not sure you can delineate was originally planted with soybeans but there's a big fat green iguana that lives in the mango tree behind me and he's not allowing many of those to grow there's one tiny one and there's a bunch of stems that are trying to survive we'll see how they do anyway here you're going to be able to see this is circle one and we're just traipsing around it and alejandro as i said center there is a cashew plant that i planted from seed from the cashew tree that grows right there and so we're planting another one in the line right here in the orchard. And now here, this giant hole, which I damn near fell into with the chair, was caused when I burnt a big tree that fell down and all the roots underneath fell on and caught on fire. So you can maybe see the outlines of circle two here. This was originally planted also with uh, a bunch of stuff that the iguanas did not allow to proliferate. And in the very center, which is not quite chopped yet, is a mango tree that I planted from seed, though from a, from a seedling that I found under the mango tree, and I'm planning on fooling around with it as a bonsai. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to navigate the little hole, which is rather treacherous in a wheelchair, I'll admit, but Cali hole. We come along to the next circle, which was the original milpa, which unfortunately I'm afraid has. Uh, also suffered a little bit from the iguanas in this little circle here. I had planted uh, red amaranth, which the iguanas recently discovered are wonderfully edible. Also, the dirt here is a little too rocky, so all these things are going to be replaced shortly. In the center, I have an avocado tree, and I have a little corn that's made it, but I don't think much of this dirt, to be honest with you. So these circles will be replaced with new dirt, cut along. So here I have my seminal olive tree, which I planted from seed that I generated, that I bought uh, in October uh, to, to plant sort of a seed here. Anyway, this is the first circle that I planted, and there's not much you can see here because we're not ready to chop this yet, so I'll probably come back to this. Anyway, in the distance right there, our, 